Bus drivers in Rockford are standing in solidarity, and tonight they come out in droves at RPS 205 school board meeting. 23 News reporter Elaine Rojas Castillo spoke with current drivers to hear what they have to say about the potential outsourcing, which could result in significant layoffs. Absolutely. So I had the chance to talk to some drivers who said they had to go to tonight's meeting in order to speak their minds. Representing the drivers is the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees Council 31 whose representative tells me he feels the potential privatization could spell more harm than good. This is the 815 community. We are part of this 815 community. As countless bus drivers filed into the monthly Rockford Public Schools board meeting, the energy became electric. With the district reviewing potential bids for privatization of driving services, the current contract's June expiration date looms large. We take pride in doing what we do. And you got dedicated drivers that's been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years. And for them to do an outsourcing, I think that'd be devastating to the community and the people. For some, this current situation mirrors previous contract disputes. But as bus driver Stan Jones hits close to eight years on the job, he says their work is invaluable. We consider ourselves a big part of the education team here in Rockford because we know the students, we know a lot of the parents because we see them every morning and every evening at the bus stops. We know teachers, principals, we work hand in hand with them uh, with issues that come up on the bus and how to handle them. Ask Council 31 Representative Christopher Hoosier says an independent study showed the price of privatization hit taxpayers hard and drivers even harder. If they decide to privatize, they're potentially putting members of this community out of work. This is a community that has a very high unemployment rate as it is. We don't need a higher unemployment rate by putting these drivers out of work. It's a very interesting job and one of the most challenging jobs I've ever had. Tonight's meeting marked the first since last Friday's bid deadline. And how are those drivers doing now? Well, it's really interesting. They were there for, for hours beforehand, and they kept saying that they needed to come out tonight. They needed to make sure that the school district mm -hmm. knew what they needed to do to not do this to them. Mm -hmm. So it was really interesting to be there. Right. Standing in solidarity, that's what it means. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much.